we're gonna bake today, but first you need to go get an adult and they supervise while you're in the kitchen. Okay, so parents, if you haven't done this with, this with us before, let me explain and then I'm gonna talk with the children. So first, parents, uh, the way I have my tray set up is the way that we ask you to set it up for your child. It doesn't have to be on a tray, but in front of them, pre-measured. Uh, the ingredients go from left to right and top to bottom is the way we set up our, our tray every time. We put our tools to the side. Um, I will name all the ingredients with the children. I will show them how to do each activity, so your job is really um, step back and let them be independent. And if they need a little help being patient in between, um, you can be there to help remind them, oh, wait until Sarah shows you, and then you can do it with them. Okay, so I'm excited to make popovers with you. Are you ready, kids? I am. Okay, I have my oven heating up to, to 450 degrees. So if you do not have your oven on, please ask a parent to turn the oven on for you, okay? And um, children, if you have not yet washed your hands, now is a great time to go to the sink and wash your hands. I will wait while you take a moment. I've already washed mine. You go wash your hands and then come back, okay? Okay, now everyone has clean hands and we're gonna get started. I'm going to name everything we have on our tray. Are you ready? We have flour, I have salt, milk, two eggs, and melted butter. And then I have a popover pan to cook them in. If you don't have a popover pan, you can cook them in a muffin pan. Popover pan, the difference is the, this part is deeper than in a muffin pan. It's a little bit deeper. I have my mixing bowl. I have my hand mixer, which I love to use. If you don't have a hand mixer, you can use a whisk. But for this one, I'm going to be using a hand mixer. And then I have my batter uh, scoop. Uh, which is just a large spoon. So if you have a large spoon, that will work. If you have a batter scoop, that's great. If you're looking for a batter scoop or any of these tools, parents, we have a list of all of our recommended um, child size kitchen tools on our website. Um, and it's listed under your home. Um, there's a little tab for all the, I think, it, what is it? The prepared kitchen is what that tab. Um, and it shows all the things that we like to use, all the different tools we use in our recipes. Parents, if you are looking for recipes, more recipes that use the same setup, our book, uh, First Foods to Family Meals, has lots more recipes and a lot of ideas on how to include your family in the kitchen. Okay, are you ready? So I'm going to move my tools over. You can leave yours right where they are. You need to have your mixing bowl right in front of you. Do you have your mixing bowl? Can you pick up your bowl of flour? We're just going to dump the flour in our mixing bowl. Watch. Did you dump your flour? Okay. Now we need the salt. And the milk, watch. Are you pouring your milk very carefully so it all goes in the bowl? I dripped a little milk on my hand, so I'm just going to use my towel to wipe it off. I like to keep a clean towel near me, just in case. Now we have our eggs. Now, if you were baking with us before, you maybe already know how to crack an egg. If this is your first class, this might be the first time you're cracking an egg. 
You can ask your parent to help if you want, but I know you can do this. Watch. All right, I'm gonna do it again. Will you watch again? Watch. Okay, now it's your turn. While you have your turn, I'm gonna go wash my hands since I just cracked an egg. So make sure after you crack your eggs into the bowl, you wash your hands. Are you ready for our last ingredient? We have melted butter. Okay, I'm just gonna pour it right in, watch. Okay, now it's time to mix. If you have a hand mixer like this, we just turn the handle while we hold the handle on top. Make sure we get those eggs mixed in. Got to break them up. If you're using a whisk or a ladle or a wooden spoon, make sure you press in the middle of the egg all the way to the bottom of the bowl and mix in circles round and round slowly, keeping all the ingredients in the bowl, okay? Getting all the ingredients mixed up. All right, I think my ingredients are all mixed up. Are your ingredients all mixed up? That's fun. I'm gonna tap it on the side of my bowl and get all the batter in there. Okay, there. I'm gonna put it on my tray so it doesn't drip on the counter. There we go. All right, now I'm going to take the batter spoon and my popover tray. I, before we started our class, I sprayed my popover tray with nonstick spray and um, if you have your parent there with you, they can do that part with you if they haven't done it already. All right, now we have to fill our baking tray. Let me just move this over so you can see a little better in the screen for those of you on Instagram. Okay. Just a little bit, watch. and we want it to be about half full, okay? So can you start filling all the little spaces in your, whether you're using a popover tray or a muffin tray? And it's okay if you get some drips. We're gonna clean those up when we're all done. So remember, you want them to be half full because what are these called? Popovers, they're gonna pop out of their little spaces and over onto the sides of the tray when they're cooking. It's, they actually look, it's really fun to watch them cook. So parents, if you have a glass door on your oven, this is a great one to turn the light on and watch. You can even have the kids bring a little stool or chair in front of the oven to watch how they cook. So they're, First gonna cook at 450 degrees and then without opening the oven door, you're gonna turn the um, temperature down to 350 degrees for the final minutes of cooking. All of that is written in the recipe that we posted, the timing for that. 
Okay, are you getting yours all filled up? I'm almost done. I have three more to go. I'm gonna count them. You can count with me if you want. One. Two. Three. All right. I need to add just a little bit more to this one, I think. Okay. They are ready to go in the oven. And I'm just going to wipe up the counter because I spilled a little bit. Make it nice and clean. There we go. Are yours ready to go in the oven? I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how yours turn out. I'm going to post a picture of how mine turn out later. So make sure you have your parent take a picture and show, um, show a picture of how yours turned out. They're really yummy if you eat them warm. Make sure you eat them warm and have jam with them if you have some jam in your house. We have some, I know we have strawberry jam in our fridge and we have some lemon curd, which uh, I might try the lemon curd with it. That sounds like it would be really yummy. If you didn't get the whole, um, get to see the whole video today, you can see it on our um, YouTube channel, which is Studio June Houston. If you didn't get to see the whole Instagram live, we'll post it in our story so that you can watch it again. It'll be live, it'll show for about 24 hours. Um, other things, um, so Friday we have our sing-along. This was our last scheduled baking class. However, we are gonna have more starting next week. I have to just plan the schedule and the recipes and get those out to you. So um, make sure you sign up for our email list if you're not on it, which is just go to studiojune.com and right at the top there, you put your email in, you're on the email list. Um, and that way you'll get notified that we have new classes and just keep following us on Instagram, um, join our channel on YouTube so that you get uh, notices when new classes go up. And um, we really just wanna keep baking with all of you as much as possible. We're trying to choose recipes that have easy substitutions. So if you don't have it in your kitchen, you have something else that will work with it. Um, so we're just trying to use general pa pantry items that you probably have. So you don't need to go out to the store Everyone can stay home. You got everything you need there. And uh, we'll just keep baking together every week. We're doing all these classes for free and they're on our YouTube channel. Uh, but we would love any, anything that, that might be worth your while to give to help support us get through this difficult time. So everyone, enjoy your baking at home together. And uh, we'll see you on Friday.